Hey you guys, good morning. Um, I just wanted to share with you um, how I stay away from the drive through away from unhealthy convenience foods um, when I'm really busy and I have a lot to do during the day. Um, this is just what I personally do. I like to wake up early in the morning before my family. Right now it's 6.30. My husband's going to be up any minute. My kids are still asleep. And um, I'm just an early bird. I love to wake up early. Um, a lot of people don't. Um, so if you want to do these things at night before you go to bed, you know, whatever works best for you. Um, but this is just kind of how I prep my food for the entire day. Um, when we're going to just have a busy day like today it's pretty typical of what we do in the summertime in the winter time seriously you cannot tear me away from the fire i am always home i have no cold tolerance i hate being out of the house in the winter so then in the spring and the summer we make up for it we go out we enjoy the beautiful weather we run errands we swim we go on field trips we do lots of fun things and i don't let um, my dietary restrictions hold me back from any of that so um, this is going to be my husband's breakfast this morning. Um, I'm going to saute all of these um, vegetables here and then scramble him some eggs. I already have it prepped. <clears throat> and then I'm going to chop up this avocado on top of all of it once it's cooked. And if you guys saw um, my previous video, I always keep all of my vegetables chopped in the refrigerator. So I just pulled out the containers, threw them on the plate, and I did not have to chop any of that this morning. It was very quick and easy prep. Um, I have my husband's tea made for him. Neither one of us tolerate coffee or caffeine. Um, so we always make herbal tea in the morning. So I have that prepped for um, him to take to work today. Um, this is going to be my lunch here. Um, I'm going to have a video coming about this soon, but I do not eat breakfast in the morning because um, one tool that I use to recover my health is something called intermittent fasting, and I'm trying to prepare a video about that for people that are more interested in learning about that. Um, so I do not eat any breakfast. I fast for 16 to 18 hours, and so this morning I'll break my fast anywhere from like 10 to noon, and this is what I'm going to break my fast with. So um, again, all the vegetables, if you can see like in the bottom of the container, they're all on the bottom there. I had them chopped, just threw them in there. I boiled a couple of um, pastured eggs from our farm and threw those in there and then threw the lettuce on top. Now in the bottom with the vegetables, I have salt and pepper and coconut vinegar. So all those veggies are just soaking in there. And then when it's time to break my fast, I'll just mix up all of the lettuce and um, we'll be good to go. And then I also have an orange, some hemp hearts sprinkled on top, which they are just, um, they're just so nutty tasting. I just love them. And then um, some sprouted sunflower and pumpkin seeds. And then um, I bring my supplements with me wherever I go um, for my, my nutritional supplements for my doctor. And then um, some homemade lemonade, which this is just a quart of water and um the juice of one lemon and then I sweeten it with a few drops of liquid stevia so there's no no sugar in it at all um, really no calories but it just tastes like a nice sweet lemonade and it's so good um, for the girls breakfast I'm going to just give them some plain organic whole milk yogurt and I sweeten that with a few drops of vanilla flavored stevia and um, then I'll mix like some fresh or frozen fruit in it and so I'll probably mix some of that in there and then um, whatever they don't eat for breakfast, they can have it for lunch or snacks. Um, they really love these chips that are made out of white beans. I'm going to bring that with us today. Some organic um, fruit strips from Aldi and a Lara bar and I'll probably grab a couple more things for them. And um, then I don't want to worry about what time we come home this afternoon. I don't want to have to worry about dinner prep, so I just went ahead and prepped it. We're going to have a super easy, quick dinner tonight. I'm going to make um, like a breakfast for dinner type of thing. I'm going to make this new recipe, sweet potato pancakes. So I have this prepped and ready to go. Um, I have everything in my blender. Um, the only thing I have left to do, I'm going to go take a quick shower right now before everybody wakes up. I just have to boil these sweet potatoes while, um, while I'm in the shower. And then when I get out, I'll just throw the boiled sweet potatoes into the blender and stick it in the refrigerator. And then when I come home, all I have to do is pull it out of the refrigerator, blend it, and put it um, <clears throat> in the cast iron skillet and cook the pancakes. So, 
yeah, that is my food prep for the day. Now it's before my family even wakes up. Now I can go get ready for the day. And um, we can have delicious whole foods um, to eat throughout the day. Um, some people ask me how I have the energy to wake up early, how I have the energy to prep um, you know, my food every day. Um, and it's honestly because I eat this way. Um, if you think, you know, there's no way that I can do this, there's no way I would have the energy to do all that and prepare that stuff, um, then I am not judging you. I have nothing but compassion for you because I used to be that way. Um, <clears throat> You know, over the winter when I was really sick, if you missed my video about my health journey, you can check that out. Um, I did not have the energy to do this stuff, and I was just dragging all the time, and I felt horrible. And um, I really had to push myself to prepare healthy foods for myself every single day um, because it was the only way I was going to feel better. And um, the reason I have energy to eat this way is because I eat this way. So... Yeah, no judgment, only compassion. And if there's anything that I can do to help you guys, um, then, you know, I'm, I'm here for you guys. So, all right, thanks. Have a good day.